thing. Am I wasting my time with YouTube? I hate it here. When I come out my door and there's, you know, homeless people lurking around, piss in the staircase or this piss in the elevator. Or I don't want to cry. Woo. But I do miss my sister. Hey girl, what you wearing today? Oh, Joshy. Put that BME whammy in the air fryer. You won't have that crunch back again. Hmm, I'm ready to try anything. Like, why I gotta be this old, still going through acne? Like, it just don't make no sense. for him to put toothpaste on a toothbrush. <laughs> My makeup early in the morning because she got to get beautified and transformed. Say good morning. She is such a princess. She got to oil her cuticles before she goes to school. Show your fit, girl. What you wearing today? But it gotta be loud, honey. It's I'm wearing Cute little sweatsuit. 
going to be good today. Cooler than yesterday. Whatever it is, it's dirty though. No, those is better. They, they match better because they got all the colors. She was gonna. Which one? Which one she was gonna put on? Oh. These. Nah. All right, guys. I'll put one of these, you know, in there. You know, because I try to give him, you know, at least some, something to breakfast, snack, and, you know, a lunch. Wait. But you look so natural. It's kind of hard to open my door because I got this a brand new door stopper. For those who are new, and welcome to Meet the News. It's another day. Another day, another day. As they say, another day, another dollar. But this is another day living in the hood. Taking the kiddos to school. Right, Tashi? Uh-huh. Where's your mask? You ain't got it on. Look, you see the marks when it feels like. Sleep marks. Did you wipe wash your face? It don't look like it. Yeah, I did it. It don't look like it. Is late. Wow. It is late for school as usual. My shirt off. Looking crazy. Mm -hmm. Get my life together. Bump into a tree, walking backwards. Everywhere. 
Yeah, dog doodle be everywhere, y'all. There's no, nobody bag their poop. So definitely in the hood, they don't um, clean up after their dogs. They don't care. This is the ghetto. They don't care. And it's not, re it's not enforced either. y'all so i just dropped them off <clears throat> i'm off of work today so i'm gonna go upstairs and straighten up clean whatever needs to be cleaned and that's gonna be it because i have a doctor's appointment today later on and um that's about it Remembers um, that show 106 and Park. This is the building they used to film it in. Yep, I have my mask on, y'all. How many of y'all wear still wearing masks? It's kind of cool this morning. It's probably low 60s, maybe. High fifties. All right, y'all. Let's so see y'all when I get upstairs. Blissful Dreams. It's in a scent lavender. 
after I finish doing my bed and I just, you know, give it a couple of little spritz here and there. Even though I'm not going to bed, but I like my pillows to smell pleasant. And that's it, guys. As you can see, I hope I'm not looking crazy, but I did a little something to my face, you know what I'm saying, to try to perk me up, you know, after I just finished, um, I, child, I got to take these braids out, it's been about a month, I just been so tired and lazy, I ain't even going front, I've been tired and I've been lazy, and I don't feel like doing it. And these braids is usually smaller than what I usually get because I usually get large. So it's not a hassle to, you know, take out. But these are the smallest I ever had. Look at this. I asked for large. Is this large? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not on or something that I don't know. But this look like, I don't know. This could be small, medium or medium. But... I asked for large, so I don't know. Y'all comment down below and let me know if this is large because <laughs> I don't know. This is the smallest I've ever had, like I said. But anywho, I'm just sitting here thinking and I'm like, I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I hate it here. I'm just going to be honest and just... <laughs> There's no way around it, you know. I try to do things in my home to, you know, to make it comfortable, which it's nice. I, I mean, I like what I've done. It's not that. It's the environment. It's the people. It's, I'm just, you know, I'm just tired, you know. And it's like, yeah, I live in New York City Housing Authority, and it's not, bad you know it's not it wouldn't be bad but it's the people that make it bad when you um when i come out my door and there's you know homeless people lurking around that's not safe for me or my family or my my children you know or you know this piss in the staircase or this piss in the elevator or they're pooping in the staircase it's just i'm just tired of it and i'm like lord it has to be a better way and I know you may be saying like, wow, you know, you got all these nice things and why are you spending it on those things? It's not, it's not like I don't have a savings. Me and my husband, we are saving, but I refuse. New York City, um, let me just put it like this. New York City is expensive. And I feel like it's getting to a point where New York City is not it's not built for families. Now, if you're on your own and you got your little boo or whatever, maybe one child and you're a single parent, it may work out for you. But with me living in a family of five, I need three bedrooms. I'm living in a two bedroom right now. I live in I live in a two bedroom and I need three and I refuse to pay twenty-five to three thousand $3,000 for a little matchbox because that's what these they, they're building these buildings and they're nice don't get me wrong but they are super small and I need space you know the closets are small the space is small and I'm not trying to be jam-packed into one space with five of us and paying three thousand dollars a month plus that don't even include Con Edison, which is electricity. That's ridiculous. If I would have it my way, I would definitely move out of New York City. I wish I could move out of New York City. It's just 
New York City, I ain't gonna lie, is the money maker. You make money here, but as far as the living, it's it just it's crap. It really is. I wish it was a way that God can open a door where me and my husband can work here, but not have to travel so far. And there are people that do the driving. They live in the suburbs. They live in PA. They live in Jersey. They live in Connecticut. And they drive about two hours going to their work, two hours back home. That's four hours of driving. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, hey, I mean, they find it to be worth it. But that's a lot. I, I mean, you would really have to have an apartment here because there may be time you get off of work and you'd be like, listen, I am tired. I do not feel like doing another two hours driving. And then on top of that, it's dangerous. You know, you don't want to, you know, put your life or somebody else's life in, in danger because you're tired and you're on the road. What if you fall asleep? That may be your last time. <laughs> going from your job to home i mean it's not worth it you know so i don't know i wish and i miss my sister she lived in texas and i just feel so horrible that we've spent so many years separated we don't even live we have not lived together in new york city um since she was maybe about 20 1920 you know my sister got married young and she moved with him and his family, you know, to Virginia and I was left here. You know, I stayed here, you know, I didn't have no opportunity to leave out of New York, but she got the opportunity to leave. She just never came back. You know, she's been, she lived Virginia and now she living currently in Texas. So, you know, I miss my sister. I would like to, you know, at least spend our mid-years, our golden years, something together, you know, because we only had our childhood. I don't want to cry. Ooh, Evangeline, Evangeline, get it together. Ooh, but I do miss my sister. We missed out on our kids growing up together. She has four kids. I have four kids. And they missed out on that. <sighs> Hold on. Let me get some tissue. But, you know, whew, I did not mean to come on here and be crying, okay? I did not mean to do that. Woo! Okay. But, you know, like I was saying, I do miss my sister. You know, not only we sisters, but, you know, we both are you know we're both saved you know and that's that's the special thing about our relationship and you know i'm just tired of you know i know that um i'm saved and i'm in the lord but you know i, I just hate when people feel like oh well you should have the faith or you should um keep praying or you should already know what God is going to do for you and it's like I'm human at the still at the end of the day I'm human and sometimes I can't help to feel how I feel I'm still part this flesh is still a part of me and I can't help sometimes to feel soft you know I can't help to feel sometimes to feel defeated or feel sad or feeling down you know we're all human and we all you know feel that way at some point in our lives and you know you look at the news you look at all this stuff that's going on and you're like lord i just hate i hate this world you know and i was talking to my sister in christ you know i love her so much ruby and it's like we both feel the same way you know 
I love her so much because, you know, she understands where I'm coming from because, you know, she feel the same way as well, you know. But, of course, we have to be encouraged in the Lord. But at the same time, it's like, oh, it's hard. <laughs> it really is hard. Anyway, I'm not going to keep, <clears throat> you know, ranting about my problems, you know. And then that's another thing, you know, I'm doing, trying to do this YouTube thing and it's like, it's not going nowhere. So I'm like, am I even supposed to be doing this? Am I wasting my time? You know, that's another thing. Am I wasting my time with YouTube? Because it's just, I don't know. It seemed like the, the work that you do with trying to come with content, you know, trying to come up with content and, excuse me, my nose sound all nasally now since I cried. <sighs> You try to come up with the content and it's like to spend hours and hours to edit and, you know, and try to get this video up. And then when you only see a hundred views, it's like, it's really frustrating. So I don't know. Maybe this is not even for me. Anywho, I'm going to try to unwind, you know, while the kids are in school. I'm going to try to take a bath or a shower, one of the two, depending on how I feel, if I want to stand up or lay down, sit down, whatever. And, you know, just try to get uh, like some stress relief and relax. I'll be back. So I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make me a fish sandwich because I had fried some fish yesterday, and why not? <laughs> That's what you do. You make a fish sandwich the next day, right? We had it with salad, and we had um, macaroni, cheese, and cornbread with it. So I'm gonna make me a sandwich and I'm gonna put some spinach on it you gotta get the greens in and I'm 
and I guess I'll put some mayo. And he hardly got none left, so let's see what I can get out this bottle. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, I guess you're done. This is the one I usually use, the one with the olive oil. Let me throw this in the garbage. Some peppers. And I'm going to put a little. Put some green peppers on here because I love bell peppers. Ooh. Stop falling. You know, bell peppers, when they be in the refrigerator, they start getting that little wrinkly, <laughs> that little wrinkly look. Yeah, let me hurry up and use it. See? I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's starting to get that little wrinkly. Like I need some moisturizer. This will do. Let's see. Just something to just fill the belly. A little bit. And I'm going to drink me a puppy my favorite drink if y'all have not tried these y'all gotta try these they have this one mimics the um dr pepper the, my favorite is this one and the one that tastes like coca-cola but they have other ones like root beer orange ginger ale the ginger ale don't really taste like ginger ale to me it tastes <laughs> it tastes a bit on the nasty side like i don't know but um but hold on y'all get my ice but this um is good because it only has like five grams of sugar and it has prebiotic so it's a prebiotic soda so it helps with that you know gut health which is good for me. We love that. Give a little sizzle, a little sizzle. Lord God, that you make this food be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's see what it's hitting for. Mm. Mm. When you make fish and you want to eat it the next day, you want to heat it up, Put that yummy whammy in an in a air fryer. You're going to have that crunch back again. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn this, um, my waterfall off because it's making too much noise. All right, guys. I got some packages. Let me get y'all straight here. What? Mm 
This one is from Amazon. When I be ordering stuff, I be forgetting what I ordered. Do you be doing it? Oh, this is my vitamins. I bought some vitamin K2 and vitamin D3. It's a combination of the both. Gotta have that. And I got some more stuff for gut health because y'all know I suffer with GERD. That is like on a whole nother level from acid reflux. But this is L-glutamine. This is supposed to be good for the gut. You know, get them bacteria healthy in there. This is unflavored. So this is a powder. You can put it in your juice or whatever. But yeah. And it's unflavored. So that's what I'm that's what I want. And let's see what's in here. This is something else from Amazon because I see it says prime. Oh, by the way, guys, after I took that shower, I don't know what it is about the water. Like the Bible said, it's something in the water. I feel a whole lot better. Oh, this is my um, shower filters because I have a filter for my shower, you know, get that hard water out and whatever else that's in the water ain't supposed to be there. And this also disperse um, vitamin C. That's good, supposed to be good for your skin. Oh, yeah, I bought this little dressy dress. Wait a minute. Why is it pink? It wasn't pink in the picture. No, they sent me the wrong one. The one I ordered, guys, it was like a beige color. This is not what I wanted. They get on my nerves when they be messing stuff up. Let me see what, does this say the color on here? Yep, this is pink. I didn't want pink. Oh, this is going back. Yeah. There's no need for me to even open it. Because I didn't order a pink one. I wanted the beige. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is my PMS vitamins, gummies. This is cramps, bloating, and mood. Yep, me and my daughters, we usually share these. You know, TMI keeps the cycle regular. <laughs> That's really it, guys. Oh, wait a minute, something else in here? Oh, yeah, something else in here. Oh, I forgot I got this. For all my acne girlies that suffer like I do. I said, let me try this. This is the um, the Polish Choice. It was expensive. This Both of these two little bottles together was um, $61. I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to try anything. Like, why I gotta be this old still going through acne? Like, it just don't make no sense at all. But this is what I got, if you can see it. Yeah, nice packaging though. But I hope it works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it has the, um, this one has the glycolic acid and this one has the salicylic acid. So hopefully those will do something for me. But other than that, guys, it's soon time for me to pick up the kids. It's 2.30. Oh, I think I have enough food for today. Hmm. I'm gonna put all that fish in one sandwich, right? Okay. 
You ain't getting done what you worried about it for. Mm -hmm. Better, better cash with cash that that check somewhere else. Well, I'm begging on it. I'm cashing right. Must not get the fourteen five. Crazy. Mhm. All right, let me finish it. I I gotta pick them up. Nigga, why are you why, why are you fully dressed? Nigga been on that. All of my business. Well, you really don't get stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you hate to blog. I got a hunger headache blog, don't play with me. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You're supposed to say, hey, Tavaga, I want to hear how hungry you are. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 I'm being a slob. guys so that was the hugging yeah it worked i'm gonna end this vlog here if you're new to the channel and you want to see more shenanigans please subscribe to the family again my name is eva and this is meet the news oh and please don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and comment down below because i want to hear from you all right guys love you and i'll see you in the next video